We are coming off the first ever one episode chapter. One chapter episode. <laughs> My goodness. Anyway, moving on to Omarta. Hey, boss. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. <sighs> Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. Okay. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. I'm not starting to get the sense that for you to become the Don, you have to get your hands that. Yeah, you definitely have to get your hands dirty. In the Throwback Gang, welcome back to a brand new episode Tommy. of Mafia. Tough day we today, gotta keep Tom. a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. When Frank sees a Lepara, he'll know. It always work. Right. So if you are new here, please consider liking and subscribing and turning on the bell notifications so you never miss an upload from me. In the previous episode, we went through a visit to the old country and it was the first time ever that a chapter stood alone for an entire episode because of how long it was. Anyway, link to that at the top right hand of your screen right now we are undergoing the Ormarta and it's coming out that the second in command to the Don has betrayed us I think they are called the Consiglieri or something pardon my Italian as you can see I'm definitely not Italian Tommy what's the rumpus Heard any big news lately? Something the Don might want to know. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI's in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. 
Dude, you owe him 40 bucks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. So yeah. Um apparently he's betrayed us, so now we are looking for information on where we can find him. Now I do know for some reason that the mafia guys keep a set of books. Um they keep a false set of books to keep them safe from the law and they have the real books to show exactly where all the money is going. And apparently this guy has got with both books so and there's no way you can hide from that when it documents every single dealing that they have been a part of. Everything so, okay. Okay, let's see. Um, game seven of the 1933 Gold Series takes place today. The Lost Heaven Nonsense play the Empire Bay Cannons and the Armory, with one team starting to take home the trophy after a heroic campaign filled with exhilarating twists. Captain Barney Smith will lead his men onto the Diamond to play for the Lancers' first series victory in over two decades. Um. Nah, no, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Council of Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom? What's going on? Yeah, that's what you want to find out. Uh, before I leave the bar, I'm gonna make sure to take this. Uh, there is nothing else for us to take, so we leave. It's so nice that you can skip all the drives. Man, this the series is just getting thicker. No, the plot Looks is like getting thicker and thicker. It's getting more and more intense. Love this car though. Looks really nice. So we have to tell Frank and his escort. Wait, why can't I move? Oh. Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. No, it Pick doesn't. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancer's manager, Frankie Hodge, prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place, or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion, and you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. It's so nice we can listen to the game. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the gold series, which at one stage had appeared doomed but they equally teeter on the edge of the feet. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. Bunny Smith then, standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's betraying no emotion, doesn't look nervous really? or tired after his exertions this series, nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other, 
What a strapping fellow. 6'2", 195 pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, kind of he's going heaven. to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. Into the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. Pass ball and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed on that ball. My goodness. It's fair to say Doherty looks a little spooked. He was convinced he had it. His body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool under pressure. Not a flicker of emotion on his face. He winds up. And that's two. There was zip on that one. Good Lord. Seidel is barking something at Doherty, but we have no chance of hearing it as the noise of the crowd reaches fever pitch. Doherty's gesturing, and that's only making uh, Seidel shit. more irate. They're taking you to the this airport, Frank. It, folks. Another strike, and the Lancers win. If Doherty can get behind it, surely the cannons will I'm sorry, guys. I'm really enjoying the game. Victory. A swing and a miss, and that's the winners. Lancers win. Lancers win. And Smith finally cracks an elated smile. He's thrown his cap in the air, as have his teammates. Lancers win the 1933 Gold Series. Oh, that's nice. Our town has won the, the gold series. Radio, our city's public service broadcaster, is to serve you. Start your day with WLH 570. Oh man, that was a beautiful game. So glad our town won. Anyway, there's nothing much for me to report on currently because you're simply tailing Frank and apparently he's been taken to the airport. So apparently, I think. He is being exfiltrated from Lost Heaven. But considering his rank in our Mafia organization, it would be stupid to have him in witness, witness protection within this town. So I do understand the exfiltration. But man, these guys are driving slowly. They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. Well, yeah, it was obvious if the, the whole point was going to the airport. Alright, we need to find out where he's being taken. Oh, airport security is lax, dear god. I mean, you can't ex- I mean, am I expecting a lot from people in the 30s, maybe? But still, I mean, I mean, look at this, honestly. Okay, 1200 to shut down the airport, 1300 informant and FBI escort leave safe house, 1315 informant exchanged and taken to hangar 5, we get accounts book after informant handed over. Okay, we need to go to hangar 5. Jesus Christ, this airport needs to get better security. And whoever let that note at the cafeteria needs to be found and get <laughs> fired. Good lord. Oh please, you guys can't see me. Wait, I can't jump this gate. Bollocks. Okay. I need to find a way around. Oh. I don't know what's going on. They're with the FBI. It's some sort of handover. Someone's being flown out. Well, they're handing him over to who? 
Those men with the plane looked like gangsters. How long did it done? I'm due to fly. As soon as they fly their prisoner out, well, I guess. Let's try there. I don't know. A lot of these men don't look like cops. Hasta la vista, baby. Gotcha now. No, you don't. Ooh, not there. And you're gone. Okay, that sucked. Oh. Oh, that was... Oh, that was really fun. Okay, yeah, do me a favor and get close up just a bit. Thank you. And you're dead. Okay, I see you. Holy smoke. Oh boy. Oh, I only had one gun. Whose crummy idea was this? Wait, 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 wait. Oh wait, I just could have come here and got him. <laughs> Dang. Dude just walked out. Uh. Uh. 
Yeah, my health is not looking good, you guys. Bam. Bam. No, I'm not trying to holster my weapon, you idiot. Oh, that actually worked. Oh no, it did not. Oh boy. I'm dead. I do not need a grenade, I need some health. Oh, sweet Jesus. How can you guys see me? I can barely see any of you. Oh boy. Oh, at least I can see one of you. Wow. Oh, this rifle is badass. Oh, the rifle is badass. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. Yep. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Oh, man. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morella was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. I know. Eh? Go on, March, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. 
Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. Oh, man. Have a heart. See, this is why I can never be mafia. Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Oh, man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't do it. God damn you, Frank. Honestly speaking, I wouldn't do it myself. Now there's only one problem. Despite us doing the right thing, it's not what the Dawn wants and this kind of stuff always catches up to you. Anyway, let's go get uh, the books, shall we? Good afternoon, sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Okay. I guess there's nobody at the front desk. Beautiful day, huh? Oh, uh -huh. yes, it is. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. Eh, here and there. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. Hmm, the guy thought so far ahead. Smart man. I'm thinking this is also going to be a one chapter episode. Based on how long I've been doing it. Got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Yeah, this is no life to live, man. No matter how good the money is. Gone. You're making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay our respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. 
<laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Alright, and that's the chapter completion for all Marta, so... I don't know. I, I think we can't squeeze in one more episode, but I think I'd be pushing it, so I'm gonna leave it here. So stay safe, be smart, be kind, tell somebody love them today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.